Have you ever noticed that every ping iron has a little colored dot on it, like this one here, a small dot on the hosel? Well, there's a very logical reason for this, and it dates, would you believe, all the way back to 1972, when ping founder Carsten Solheim wanted to develop a system to help golfers buy clubs that fit them. Now, we're all different shapes and sizes. Some of us are tall, some are small. We all have different ways we like to swing the golf club. So it only makes sense to have golf clubs that fit perfectly for us. For instance, a big tall NBA basketballer might need a longer shaft with what's called an upright lie angle in his irons. A 10 year old child might, a bit smaller might need a shorter shaft with a flat lie angle in theirs. Now, if you've never heard of lie angle, do not worry. We have a separate video with a very simple explainer of what that is. And what we'll do is link to it below here to bring you up to speed. But essentially, lie angle is the relationship between the sole of the club and the shaft. It's actually this angle here measured in degrees. But every set of ping irons has its own dot color. And there are 10 colors altogether. Now in the older chart there used to be 12 colors. Yellow like this one is gone since 2017. It's been simplified to 10. And each color matches a specific player's lie angle and shaft length. So whatever height you are, it will be a ping dot color or colors that will suit you perfectly. And that then is matched with whatever lie suits you best. Now the dot colors range from gold, which has a lie angle of four degrees flat, all the way to maroon, and I have one here which is five degrees upright. And every lie in between, going up in one degree increments, has its own dot color. And ping fitters, they have an ingenious chart which matches your total height measurement and your wrist to floor measurement, and how you like the club to essentially be sitting when addressing the ball or hitting the ball. And if you're getting fit for a brand new set of ping irons, the ping fitter will also get you to hit shots off what's called a lie board to really dial in your lie angle. And when all this is done, they prescribe the correct dot color to suit your game best. Now, I'm just five foot 10 tall and I fall into the average height category. And since the very first ping fitting chart the standard dot that suits my height is the black dot and i have a ping i2 here to show you a really old one but some average golfers will actually address the ball and swing the club a little bit different some will be fitted to a blue dot that's one degree upright others might like a red dot which is one degree flat for people who are taller the chart might prescribe shafts that need to be a little bit longer and vice versa with shorter shafts for smaller players. So what happens if you find the ping irons of your dreams on Golf Twitter, but they're the wrong dot color? Should you still buy them? And the answer is, if they're within three dot colors of what the ping chart says suits you best, then yes, absolutely buy them because pretty much all ping iron sets can be bent by three degrees up or down by your local PGA Pro. It's actually a very simple process. It's not expensive at all, so go for it. So there you go, that is the ping dot color system. And having the right one for you will help you make sure you get the correct lie angle and shaft length to hit true crisp iron shots out of the center of the club face. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do press like and subscribe to the Golf Bitter YouTube channel. And of course, follow us across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with the very latest. For me for now though, it's Donald out.